Peace, peace, black family. So black on black violence and black criminality is a European invention. Let's get into it. There are two quotes that I absolutely love by the Honorable Marcus Garvey. The first quote is, if the Negro is not careful, he will drink in the poison of modern civilization and die from the effects of it. Now, in the original quote, he actually said, if the Negro is not careful, he will drink in the poison of white society and die from the effects of it. I'm assuming they changed the white part to make it more palatable. Nevertheless, I'll let my brother James give you all the second quotes. Garvey, they called Garvey in the middle of a quote. They asked him what his mistake was. He said, my mistake, you ask. He said, my mistake, you ask, is trying to change the conditions of men before changing the minds of men. They're probably asking, why am I going through the trouble of saying all of this? Because a lot of us don't know of a time in history when we didn't live like this. A lot of us don't know a time in history where instead of wearing chains around our waist and around our ankles and around our hands, we wore chains around our necks that adorn our bodies. And it wasn't until the Arab and the European made their way to Africa that black on black violence and criminality became a thing within our communities. Read this book. As the European Christians and Arabs came to Africa, they also brought their way of thinking and their cultural values. And then we began to adopt them. We created peaceful nations that had no word for jail because no one had ever gone to one. No word for old people's home because no one had ever thrown away grandma and grandpa. No word for orphanages. We did all of this and over half of human civilization was over before we knew that a European was in the world. The original idea of, of, the, of the penitentiary, and, and the word penitentiary comes from, comes from the word penance, uh, just like monks doing penance in a monastery, uh, was really to set up prisons as monasteries so that inmates would sit silently in their cells, meditate, read the Bible. As John Henry Clark has eloquently told us throughout the years, certain words do not exist in cultures because the behavior does not exist within that culture. There is no term for penitentiary or any African indigenous language because we were not putting people in penitentiaries. We were not putting people in old folks' homes. Those things became a thing when Europeans came to the country and we began to adopt their way of thinking so just like in the european system the mass incarceration and debilitation of black people became necessary for that society to grow i want you to think of it like this in the movie little shop of horrors the plant needs people to survive it needs blood you have a society in the united states which is a crimogenic society think about if black people so-called stop committing crime right judges will be out of a job lawyers police officers correction officers probation officers i mean there's a whole industry based off of the criminality of black people so just like in the movie little shop of horrors we have a system that continually says feed me seymour and it needs black bodies in conclusion a point that i'm making is the same african that got on those slave boats is not the same african that got off those slave boats we have adopted so many ways of thinking from the european and arab that we don't even know our true selves anymore. We don't remember a time in history where we were great, where we were not the victims of mass incarceration and so-called black-on-black violence. We don't remember that glorious history because we've been living under this oppressive system for so long. So in order for us to rise above this oppressive system and this destructive system, we must reclaim our identity. We must reclaim ourselves our culture, our history, before we made contact with the people who destroyed it.